Jupiter's moon Europa have conditions suitable for life. The search for life beyond Earth by scientists isn't a recent phenomenon. It dates back to several decades. Now, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, is looking for the possibility of life on Jupiter's moon Europa. If you like our videos share the same and subscribe to our channel for science updates. The scientists who are eyeing to explore the Europa surface via Europa Clipper mission are currently studying the effects of minimal impact on the surface. Europa, along with other moons of Jupiter, were discovered by the Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei in the 17th century. However, scientists only got to know about the intricacies of the planet and its moon in the 1950s. Europa have conditions suitable for existing life. This is because of its salty ocean that lies under a thick layer of ice. The new mission, Europa Clipper, will hold a series of close flybys of Europa as it orbits Jupiter. The spacecraft is scheduled to take off in 2024. The spacecraft will carry instruments that will help the astronauts conduct a survey on the moon. Not only this, it will also help collect the sample of dust and gases. This work broadens our understanding of the fundamental processes on surfaces across the solar system. Scientists think Europa's ice shell is 10 to 15 miles, 15 to 25 kilometers, thick, floating on an ocean 40 to 100 miles, 60 to 150 kilometers, deep. So while Europa is only one-fourth the diameter of Earth, its ocean may contain twice as much water as all of Earth's oceans combined. Europa's vast and unfathomably deep ocean is widely considered the most promising place to look for life beyond Earth. A passing spacecraft might even be able to sample Europa's ocean without landing on the Moon's surface because it is possible that Europa's ocean may be leaking out into space. While no plumes were observed, while the Galileo spacecraft was in the Jupiter system in the 1990s, more recent observations from telescopes such as Hubble Space Telescope, as well as a reanalysis of some data from the Galileo spacecraft, have suggested that it is possible that thin plumes of water are being ejected 100 miles, 160 kilometers, above Europa's surface. In November 2019, an international research team led by NASA announced they had directly detected water vapor for the first time above Europa's surface. The team measured the vapor using a spectrograph that measures the chemical composition of planetary atmospheres through the infrared light they emit or absorb. Scientists are almost certain that hidden beneath the icy surface of Europa is a salty water ocean thought to contain twice as much water as Earth's oceans combined. Europa may be the most promising place in our solar system to find present-day environments suitable for some form of life beyond Earth. Where would life on an icy world far from the sun get energy? The type of life that might inhabit Europa likely would not be powered by photosynthesis, but by chemical reactions. Europa's surface is blasted by radiation from Jupiter. That's a bad thing for life on the surface, it couldn't survive. But the radiation may create fuel for life in an ocean below the surface. The radiation splits apart water molecules, H2O, made of oxygen and hydrogen, in Europa's extremely tenuous atmosphere. The hydrogen floats away, and the oxygen stays behind. Oxygen is a very reactive element, and potentially could be used in chemical reactions that release energy, which life forms could exploit. If the oxygen somehow make its way to the ocean, it could possibly provide chemical energy for microbial life. If Europa does have a salty ocean, chemical reactions between the water and the rocks on the ocean floor could create hydrogen-rich materials. And if there are areas where the ocean interacts with hot rock, then, like hydrothermal vents in Earth's oceans, that water could be pouring out chemical nutrients to power life. In short, Europa may have a variety of processes that work together to make the chemical energy available for powering life processes of simple organisms like bacteria.